Hey, what's up guys? Jaker D. Almighty here. Today I'm down at the river with my friends Brandon and Tristan. And today we're going to be free diving for some river treasure. So normally we're out here with the scuba setups. We're breathing our air underwater. But today we're going back to the basics. This is how we first started doing our river treasure videos. Just mass snorkel and fins. We're going to go out there and uh, just see what we can find. Drop a thumbs up if you guys want to see another free diving video this weekend. If we could break 50,000 likes, I'll get the gang back together. We'll come back out here and look for some more treasure. So because of the storms, the water has been super murky. But today it's a beautiful day. The sun is out and the water is super clear, so let's get to it. So I'm gonna start things off with my favorite find of the day. Now Tristan and Brandon both haven't seen this item and I think I have the best item so far. I was over there at Cup 8 and I just saw it like this. I was like, what is that? And I needed another breath and I went down really? and I grabbed it. It's a Bruh. pink iPhone. Look at this Bruh. thing. Really? <laughs> this on the inside here. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. We got a we got a Oh, we've got a movie what ticket. A we movie got a movie ticket. ticket. It says American Multi Cinema, the license granted. I think it's I think it's a ticket that's folded. What did I see? I don't know. I'm trying I'm to find out. Brando. I'm trying, Jacobson. Hold on. Is it? No. No. It's not. No. False right. alarm. Do you guys know what iPhone number this is? Uh, this is the six plus. Six plus. Could be wrong. I had to look it up. Six. But uh, that's crazy. You found a pink iPhone. Plus. I mean, people love iPhones, but people love what I found too. Okay. So, you think you might get me? I'm just saying it's close. All right. Let's see. Let's check out what we All right. got. All right, I'm only going to show you my best find. All right, let me see it. All right, bring it. Close your eyes. You can't yeah. be better than my iPhone. Okay, turn around. 
It smells worse than there your you iPhone. Go. Yeah, turn around. Uh, <laughs> I got a, I got a retro it? pair of Jordans <laughs> or a Jordan. What in the world? Yeah. What makes it so special? Though? It's like a retro. Basically, long story short, it's a Jordan 8, and I think this is like the Aqua. It used to be a sneaker head, but I died down on it a little bit. But anyway, it's a nice shoe, man. How much do uh, you think this would cost? In that condition, zero. I mean, it's muddy. There's no sole. It's like straight mud on the inside. It is a size 10. Is that you? That's me, dude. I'm not putting my bare foot in there. So booty is, is going in. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Dude. <laughs> 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 kind of matches what you're wearing. No way. Tip toeing in my Jordans. <laughs> <laughs> tip toeing in my Jordan. It's actually pretty comfortable, dude. Yeah. We might have to start diving in Jordan, man. <laughs> so like I said, finding this iPhone was the best find of the day so far for me. Uh, this is, uh, it's always fun to find these things. If I can figure out who this belongs to, I'll be sure to give it back to the original owner, but it looks like it's just totally tanked. It looks destroyed, but uh, really awesome to find an iPhone. But when I first started free diving today, my mindset was just really to go out there and start cleaning up the river a little bit. So I went ahead and start collecting cans, and then I realized like there's so many cans out here. I found a rope, started putting cans on the rope, and this is what I got out of it. Look at all these things. A lot of beer cans in here. But it's just terrible that people drink and just throw their cans in the river. And, you know, most people think, you know, out of sight, out of mind. But it only takes a second to bring this up to the trash can. And uh, I really just wanted to focus on cleaning up the river today. And I got super lucky with the iPhone. But always really good to get the trash out of the river. You know what they call that? What? It's good karma, dude. Good karma. I know, dude. Yeah. Right after I picked up all those cans, I found that iPhone. I couldn't believe it. I was so <laughs> stoked. When I was over there by the cans, I also found some rebar. This could be pretty dangerous. So I went ahead and got out of the river so I could go throw it away. This right here is an interesting find. It says right here, zip line 420, and I'm not too sure what that says right there. And I thought at first this could be like a time capsule of some sort. I thought maybe they put stuff in here and they put cement on top. But honestly, I'm not too sure. I think it's just a lot of cement inside this thing. Maybe it's like an anchor point, but it's for the zip line and it might've been on 420, but pretty cool. Try to break it open? I think we should try to break it open. Like what if it was a time capsule and we just threw it away? Hey, don't bust your teeth out. <laughs> what? <laughs> out of all the options. Busting my teeth out. <laughs> Be careful. Did it open up? No? <laughs> it's a lot of hard work. And uh, it's just cement. Just cement. 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 Let's get through all this stuff away. It's just cement. This is a pretty cool find. I found a super old anchor. I always find a lot of anchors in the river just because there's a lot of current going down and the anchor just gets wedged in a rock and the people can't really get it out. So here's one I found today. Not too sure what this thing is right here, but thought I'd get it out of the river. It looks pretty dangerous. I do not want to step on that in the future. So we'll go ahead and throw that away as well. So when I was swimming back from this bridge behind me, I found what I thought was a snake. This thing was under the water like this. And I was like, oh my gosh, that looks like a snake. I touched it. And it didn't move. I pulled out of the sand like this, and then I saw like the scales on it. I was like, oh my gosh, this is a snake. I got Tristan and Brandon over as quick as I possibly could, and I went and grabbed it, pulled it out of the sand, and sure enough, it was a snake, but it was actually just a toy snake. But it scared me for a second. <laughs> and I found a little charger. I'm not too sure what this goes to, but kind of interesting find. Like, why would you bring a charger on the river? I'm not too sure what this thing is right here. It's like a little metal capsule. I thought it was like another beer bottle, but. I don't know. I also found a handful of fishing lures. We're gonna go through them all. Found this little fluke right here. This is actually reusable. It doesn't look like it's been in a river for too long. Found this super old, disgusting, molded one. That's nasty, I'm gonna throw that one away. Found a couple swim baits. Here's a little one. And then uh, here's this like white one right here. I never found one like this before. This is pretty cool. This is a spoon. I've actually never caught a fish on a spoon before. And I find these all the time. This one looks in like pretty good condition. I found the spring. I also found a battery. And then I found this little grub lure. So that's pretty much it for all my finds. I had a really good day. I found a lot of trash. And I also found a really nice item, which is the iPhone. And uh, I'm stoked, man. Let's go ahead and check out what Tristan and Brandon found. All right, so Jake obviously found the best find of the day today with the iPhone. It's kind of hard to beat, but- Another one. Yeah, another one. <laughs> DJ Khaled, another one. <laughs> so uh, anyway, me and Tristan are gonna go ahead and show you guys our best finds of the day. You wanna know my favorite find? Yeah. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> it's two nuts. <laughs> nice nuts, bro. Those creative catfishermen out there, man. I feel like this would be way more expensive than just like regular weight though. <laughs> regular lead weight. <laughs> so that's, that's my favorite find of the day. That's an interesting one. Because I was just like, oh wow, look at that. My best find of the day was, oh yeah, a retro Jordan 8. I believe they're the Aqua. 
like the colorway I you know I don't really remember exactly but pretty unique find I think normally the brand new this pair of shoes is it's, it's over $200 but in this condition for the pair yeah, yeah for the pair one. right now we got one see if you would have got two of them you could just put them on this would be a river shoe would have been legit. They're actually your size They're, it's pretty, legit. pretty awesome. so this find isn't that crazy but it's I think it's unique because like not a lot of people surf in this river and the only person I've known to surf in this river is Jacob old Jacobson <laughs> but I found a fin somebody was trying to surf out here and obviously it did not work is that out yours well. Jacobson no that's it's not, not Jacob. <laughs> <laughs> we got these bad boys what do you think oh those are you they so, actually look kind of good on you yeah, did they yeah they look all right oh well uh you're a good liar Jake <laughs> <laughs> we used to find a ton of glasses out here and now it's just kind of rare to uh, get a good pair that's intact so not bad dirty you can clean them up I'd never wear them Tristan actually you know what you should wear them for the rest of this video there you go Tristan Oh, yep, 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 there it there is, you go. there it is. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> it's in his ear hole. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> what else you got, Brandon? So I did find some actually pretty cool lures. We're gonna start off with this guy. It is a uh, little broke back diver. It's perch colored. Dang. I'd have to replace the treble, but other than that, it's a really nice lure. Also found these two little rattle traps. Pretty nice lures as well. Obviously, uh, they're not in great condition, but I'd have to replace the hooks and they're not bad. We each found one battery today. <laughs> One battery. I found a battery too. <laughs> it's weird. My battery was bigger. So I think somebody was having a really bad day because I found two real handles. I feel like they were just reeling and just popped off and fell into the water. Like, what do you do then? You just, there's no more fishing. I've been there. <laughs> I've been there. <laughs> I've never been there. So I got this big old catfish hook. This was like right on the edge of the water, so I made sure to get this out. I'm glad I got it out because there's a lot of people that swim over here and uh, just trying to keep everybody safe without getting a hook inside their foot. That would suck. Yeah, it would. So this was a really interesting find. As soon as I found it, I grabbed it and I was like, oh, a glove. And then I felt the hand and <laughs> it's packed with sand. But when I first grabbed it, I, I could have sworn that might have been actual fingers. Like, feel that, Jake. <laughs> feel it. Tell me that's not weird. Yeah, it feels like a it's finger. a little sketchy, dude. It's like you're you're holding somebody's hand. So I was a little freaked out, but it's just sad. Was it just so. like floating with the fingers up? Like you grabbed the fingers? No, it was it was fingers down. <laughs> so it was just this, and I grabbed this, and I was like, oh, what's? Oh no! Oh man! Oh you know what? You know what? These shoes even have what a theme this? song, dude. Oh, these are brown bottoms. These are river shoes. Hey! <laughs> dude, look at this thing. It's just. Healing yeah, off. no, oh, That's dude, so you're great. ruining my shoes. That's messed up. Yep. This better be the last shoe. I have zero more shoes. <laughs> All right, turn around. I'm turned around. All right, now turn around. Oh, <laughs> got a van. Dude, look at this thing. That is so muddy, dude. Look dude. at the. <laughs> oh! <laughs> you have to put that on. Me? Yes. Dude, there's so much mud in there. I will literally pay for your pizza if you put that shoe on. You buy me a pizza? I will buy your pizza, but you have to like have it on for, and like tie it, lace it up. Actually double knot it. Double you have to knot it? Tighten it as tight as it'll go and double knot it. I'm gonna uh, load that pizza up with a bunch of pepperoni, some garlic. Load it. I'm gonna get a large yeah. drink too. Whoa, 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 I said the pizza. Whoa. We weren't talking no combo Whoa. <laughs> Hold on now. Are they worth the pizza? That's the real question. Are they worth the pizza? Honestly, that was really disgusting, but I got a free pizza out of it. Yeah, the Jordans were still the best though. Yeah. You can't... Oh! <laughs> Dude! You're gonna owe me a pizza if you keep playing like this. <laughs> <laughs> when the water's cold, I'd be like... <laughs> 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 <laughs>